Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel. And today I'm going to show you how to draw these modern abstract art posters with a texture. And if you're interested, please keep watching. This is size of our workspace and these are colors which I am going to use in my tutorial. And if you want to take a closer look at the design, you can do it on my Patreon page. The link will be below this video. And now let's start the tutorial. The colors are already in the swatch panel. Let's take this color and rectangle tool and draw here background like our workspace. Okay, now let's take dark blue color and ellipse tool. Press in any place and let's create the ellipse 425 to 425. Okay, move it here. Now let's take rectangle tool and draw here any rectangle. We need to cut off a half of the ellipse. You need to move rectangle till you see the word center. OK. Now select both shapes and go to Pathfinder intersect. OK. Now let's copy and paste the blue shape. Let's make it orange and make it smaller, rotate it, more smaller, put here, better a little bigger, select both and move here. Now let's take the dark orange color and ellipse tool and let's create the ellipse here. Move this shape to front. Move the ellipse here. And now let's take smooth tool and select this ellipse and just move the smooth the smooth tool among the ellipse to make the shape not so perfect. OK, guys, the shapes are ready. Let's select them and group them. Ctrl G. Now select the whole design and align horizontal and vertical. OK, the first poster is ready. Now let's ungroup this poster, delete this and this shape. Now select that shape and make it orange color. Move here. OK, now let's take a dark blue color and you need this color in the stroke. Now you need to create a rectangle 389 to 490. OK, move here. Now let's create one more rectangle 86 to 322. OK. Let's move it here. Select both and align them. Now let's take direct selection tool, select that line and press delete and select that line and press delete. Direct selection tool, select these two corners, hold and drag them and round the corners and the same here. OK, now select both shapes and let's take that brush. Now go to Blend tool and let's select this line and now this one. OK, now double click to Blend tool and here select Steps and here Free. OK. And now let's move the shape a little up, select both and align them. Now 
move this shape a little down and align now let's group these two shapes now select the whole design and align it horizontal and vertical okay that's great and now let's create the third poster we need to return to the first poster and change it let's select the blue shape and make it orange the ellipse move down and bring to front and make it dark blue color this shape you need to rotate like this and uh, right click transform reflect horizontal ok now hold alt and make the copy select this color for this shape and bring it to front and this shape let it be um no this color okay now we need to select these two shapes and move them down okay now let's select all shapes and align them and group them now select the whole design and align it horizontal horizontal and vertical and that's all now let's add the texture you need to go to file place and select the photo where i found the photo i went to free pick and select uh, the photo section and right here grunge texture and now you see a lot of texture uh, textures i took this one the link to this texture will be below this tutorial and you can take the texture you like the most now select place and hold and drag the photo let's make it a little bigger like this okay now go to window image trace and here we need to select ignore white and here let it be 222 preview okay the texture is ready now go to object expand okay and now you have the vector texture which you can use in any project and here let's write 50 opacity soft light and let's look i think it's pretty you can for example move uh, this texture till you like the result or if you need you can make the texture uh, smaller let's make the texture a little smaller don't forget to hold shift to save uh, the proportions okay that's great now let's go to layers and hide visibility of the texture layers let's hide and now copy and paste the background and send it to front now open the visibility select the whole design right click and make clipping mask and the same way you can add textures to other posters that's all for today guys if you like my tutorial please give me a like and subscribe and see you in the next tutorials in adobe illustrator or in the next videos about a graphic design bye bye guys Mwah. bye